friends welcome to my youtube channel and i am kushal and today we are going to start with the drojan war episode 1 and i have titled it as how the drojan war started the drojan war is written as in a form of a poem that is titled as iliad and the poet of this iliad is homer so some people also call it as homer's iliad but you can simply refer to it as iliad Okay so for the time being let's move on to Troy and in Troy we have Hecuba and Priam who are the queen and the king of Troy respectively and they already have a very healthy son named as Hector Now the second child was to be born and it was predicted that he would be the reason for the destruction of Troy Now the things were going worse and worse and as per this prediction Priam gave their servant the order to kill this child and as per the order the servant hurled the child on the mountain to die after a few days when the servant came to collect the dead body of the child he was really astounded and astonished to see the child alive and as for this miracle the servant thought that he was somewhat like a god in human so he decided to raise him as his own son so the servant took the child and went back to his house after several years that small baby that had been hurled on the mountain had now turned into a young powerful adult and he was again reunited with the royal family everyone was so happy to get him back and he was named as paris you know everyone was so happy but 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 they forgot one important thing that was a prediction was made that he would be the reason for the destruction of troy anyways let them enjoy for now well guys this was the main reason for the destruction of troy what i mean is that if the servant would have killed that child the troy would have existed and this great trojan war would have prevented anyways we cannot really change the past so let's go ahead well i would also like to mention that paris was known for his judgment as you can see in this image that paris is giving justice to all the three women in this image so paris was known for his judgment now guys for the time being everything was good in troy and we would have to divert the topic from troy to sparta which was again a kingdom of that time so in sparta thetis who is the goddess of water says that she will only marry to one who can hold her in whatever the conditions are by this uh, she means like she is a goddess so she could turn herself into a snake or a porcupine and one who will still hold her in any conditions she would marry to him once a guy named Peleus came to Thetis and you will be amazed to know that Peleus succeeded in this test because of his will power now Peleus had to marry Thetis as told earlier that Thetis was the goddess of water so king of all the gods Zeus invited all the gods and mythological creators including the goddess of discord eris the goddess of discord eris should have been invited because if maybe she would have been invited then the trojan war wouldn't happen anyways let me tell you what happened the next frankly speaking eris was very disappointed and angry from the same and that is why she also gave an unexpected gift that was a golden apple now you may think that she gave a gift in a marriage as a golden apple then what is wrong but hang on let me tell you what was carved on that golden apple it was written that for the most beautiful 
for the most beautiful what does that really mean actually guys that means that this apple could only be received by the most beautiful present well guys this time i will tell you in the next episode that what exactly happened when she threw the golden apple but let me give you all a hint you know in the apple that was carved for the most beautiful then you may know that there must be simply a conflict between some people to get the apple okay so that is a hint and i'll continue it in the next episode thank you guys and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel so that you don't miss any new update or episode that i upload